Welcome back, sixth graders and parents, for another weekly update for the week of May the 4th. Get it? May the 4th be with you. For tomorrow, Monday, lightsaber, Darth Vader. All right, whatever. Let's jump right into this weekly update. So Monday, Monday, you students will have another icebreaker. Tuesday, we jump into... Hmm? Not a Newsday Tuesday, that's for sure, because it's another catch-up day for you. Wednesday, we forward to Wednesday, is your final document on Rome. Document F. Thursday leads you to another IXL lesson of your choice based off my suggestions. And last but not least, to finish up Rome on Friday is a one-paragraph essay on why Rome fell. Again, I repeat, a one paragraph essay on why Rome fell. Stick around towards the end because I will explain to you how to submit that essay when I transition to a loom. But before I do, I will uh, bring this up again on another weekly update, but I might as well bring it up now. You'll notice on Skyward, there are sections that say RLP. Ignore that. That is for remote learning. That is just to indicate that, hey, you're learning at home, you're doing things online, um, and it doesn't have a grade on Skyward. It will constantly say zero, so ignore the RLP. Without further ado, my young Padawans and Jedi Masters, let's move on to the loom. All right, guys, welcome to Canvas. Let's go right into checking out that final assignment. So if you're a parent and you're looking in your student's browser or iPad, this is what you would probably see. So go and click on assignments right here. I'm gonna go and click on assignments. And we're gonna scroll down. You'll see a bunch of their assignments. Hopefully they have finished most of those. And you'll see Rome final assignment or Rome final thoughts essay. Mind you, this doesn't show up till Friday. So again, you will not see this till Friday. I'll go and click on it anyways. And this is what you'll see. Breakdown of what the assignment will need from your student. It is one paragraph, a paragraph of five to seven sentences long. You need to start off with a topic sentence, AKA a hook, um, a short starter, which takes about one to two sentences. And then the meat of the paragraph will be about three to five sentences, which will include evidence from your documents, document A all the way to F, and your reasoning or your why behind you, why you chose that evidence and why you think Rome fell, and finishing off with a concluding thought, a concluding sentence or sentences, one to two of those. When you're done and ready to go, you'll click on Submit Assignment, and you'll see multiple options for you to do here my personal favorite is the text entry box i'll click on that text entry will give you an opportunity to click and paste wherever you typed as you can see there's paste here or you can just type right here and there and submit there's another submit button right here if you decide to go the route of uploading you can upload your word documents here and then you'll submit the assignment again right here clicking that or you can go to Google Docs or go straight to GoodNotes, wherever you have typed it online, and then you can submit it directly from there. Again, my favorite would be text entry. It's a lot easier that way. Type it up here or paste it in and then click submit assignment. Friendly reminder, this is not until Friday. So this will culminate the Rome unit. If you have any questions, please email me or just rewind this video and watch it again. Till next time, guys. Thanks.